So I'm here with uh, Paul Gabay. Um, Paul, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Adobe? Sure, yeah. I am the uh, Vice President of Product Development for Design Web and Interactive. So that includes uh, a number of products ranging all the way from Illustrator and Design up to uh, Flash and Dreamweaver. What, what is Adobe doing for HTML5? Well, we're doing a number of things. Uh, there's, there's things we're doing in products you'd expect, like Dreamweaver with the HTML5 update pack. We're doing a bunch more features there. Um, we had the update pack for Illustrator as well. But in addition to that, we are, we're experimenting. We're doing different things with different technologies. There was uh, the Edge prototype that we showed here yesterday in the keynote, uh, which is new tooling specifically focused around leveraging HTML5 to do, for building richer interactivity and motion design. Um, there is Wallaby project that we released yesterday, and that's a uh, yeah, that's very cool. That's uh, it's experimental technology. We're sort of playing around with you know what kind what kind of flash content can you take, and how do you convert that over to HTML5? Is there a clean mapping? What do you think are the biggest challenges for people that want to build HTML5 stuff today? Well, I think I mean there's there's a number of things. The the main one that sort of comes up over and over again, I think, is really about consistency and reach, and uh, and performance. When would people use Flash, and when would people use HTML5? Yeah, you know, it, it, we, we have that question all the time. I mean, it's an internal debate and, and it's an external debate as well. And um, I don't know, I've come to the conclusion really that, you know, I almost ask the audience, when, when do you think you're going to use it? Because I, I don't think we can we can say one way or the other for sure, right? The thing that we can do as a company, we're all about content creation and we're about building the best tools in the world to allow you to do that. If our customers uh, want to build things with HTML5, then we're building the best tools for that. If they want to build it with Flash, certainly we have the best tools there already. So bottom line, Flash and HTML can just live together, right? They they absolutely will live together. I don't think there's any question about that. And uh, we are completely committed to make sure that uh, we have the best tools in both camps for people to be successful and where we can see synergies where we can bring those things together for a better experience, great. some HTML5 stuff now, right? Yes, uh, mainly with video because that's uh, one of my subject matter expertises is just uh, getting enco encoding specifications together for my clients, deployment specifications. and. So is it safe to say that you're building video experiences um, well, how should I say this? Uh, a flash video experience with an HTML5 fallback, or the other way around? Uh, it, it, it's a, it's I call it flash first, and so yeah, most of the code that um, I build uh, on my service VideoRx for my clients uh, is is going to be a, a positioning flash as the the first. Uh, experience that's presented and then it's a graceful degradation from there on out. Are there any other things that you struggle with with HTML5 video? Uh, just consistent, I mean consistency. What do you think about that? I, I don't think it's a, I mean it's a war in the sense that there's misinformed people on both sides and so um, I, I, th I think that there's a coming together of what the technologies can do to complement each other. What, what do you think about the tooling that we're working on, um, Edge and, and Wallaby for instance, is that going to help it? I do, I, I think, I, I mean anything that lets people have as close to feature parity as they ha were used to with Flash is going to be a great thing. I mean, Wallaby is just, it's amazing in what, you know, that, hey, it, we're, we're providing something to fall back. I mean, even back in the early days of Flash, you had, you know, GIF and JPEGs being sort of thrown out by a generator if you didn't have Flash. And so I sort of see Wallaby as like the next generation of that kind of technology. Did you just say HTML5? HTML5. But you're a Flash guy. Everyone knows you from all your amazing Flash work, so how did that happen? Uh, I like to think of myself as an interactive guy. So, I mean, both personality, of course, but also the technologies that I play with. And, uh, I mean, over the last decade, that's mean, meant that I play almost exclusively with Flash because it was really the only technology that enabled the type of things that I wanted to do. 
Uh, but I think you know HTML5 is an emerging technology, definitely still maturing a lot, but it's a it's a new space to play in, and so I'm really interested in where it's going. What, what were some of the problems that you had to deal with when you built Pirates Love Daisies? I think um, we ran into less problems than we expected. We thought that there'd be a lot of browser inconsistencies, and um, well, we definitely ran into those. The, the, the Canvas API is actually quite consistent between platforms. Um, Audio caused us a lot of problems. We, you know, working with dynamic audio particularly, we ran into maximum numbers of audio objects and maximum number of channels, and we had to come up with frameworks to, to deal with those issues. Coming from a Flash background, is it is it easy to get into HTML5? I think uh, people with a Flash background have a huge advantage um, over people with sort of a more traditional HTML or JavaScript uh, background. I mean. I think it's very easy to pick up a new language or a new technology, but it's much harder to uh, gain the knowledge of, or these mental models that you establish in interactive. Now, a lot of tech blogs have been writing about this whole Flash versus HTML war. What do you think about that? I don't, I don't think it's a war. I, I mean, I think they're different technologies. They have different strengths. We'll continue to do both of them.